What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the Yeti Sidekick Dry 3 liter bag, pack, whatever you wanna call it. You can see it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, I got to let you know I am a Yeti ambassador. They do financially compensate me. They do give me these products for free, but they do not ask me to make the videos. They definitely don't tell me what to say in the videos. I don't send them the videos before you see the video. So these are my totally honest opinions. <laughs> you can believe me. If I didn't like it, I would just not say anything about it but I really do like this product and here's why. All right, so this thing has actually been around for a while, but Yeti just re-released it because they changed the way the magnets are attached to the closure. So there were some issues with magnets potentially working their way free from the closure and somebody could swallow them, you know. So in an effort to be more than cautious, Yeti redesigned the way the magnets are attached to the closure and there's no way they can ever come out. So it's back. And since I have had quite a bit of experience with them, I just wanted to kind of go through a few of the things that I really like about it. One thing is, you know, it's, it's totally waterproof. It's quick open and close, really easy to get in and out of it. And it's got a little pouch on the inside to kind of store some of the stuff that maybe you don't want sliding around on the inside of the bag. It's got several different ways on the outside to attach it to either a backpack, you can wear it on a belt as a hip pack or over your shoulder as a sling. Um, my wife was actually the first person I saw using it as a fanny pack. So she got a belt, put it through it and wore it as a real minimalist kind of day fly fishing bag. Uh, Yeti's actually selling a belt that you can buy separately for the bag. So that turns it into a sling or a fanny pack. Another way that you can use it, and this is the way I've used it most of the time, is as kind of a piggyback pouch on the outside of another pack. I use it on the Yeti Panga, the 28 dry bag pack, and it's a perfect companion for that pack. I like to have it on the outside because if there's stuff that I need, you know, quickly, like extra batteries for my camera, or I stick my GoPro in there, just kind of things that I want to be able to grab and quickly access without having to open up the main pack. So that's what I use it for most of the time. But now I have been inspired to use it as a minimal kind of day pack for fishing. So you can put everything you need for a day of fishing in this little bag. So box of flies, uh, leaders, tippet, nippers, if you need a buff, sunscreen, that type of stuff. It's got plenty of room for all that and it really takes up no space and it is totally waterproof. That's like probably the coolest thing about it is totally waterproof. Anyway, it is the Yeti Sidekick Dry 3 liter. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out, if you want to buy one, you know, I'll make a few pennies off of the sale if you use my link. I think they're pretty cool. I've used them for quite a bit now and they're pretty bomber. I haven't had anything go wrong with one. I mean, there's really nothing that can go wrong with it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.